your local weather authority with meteorologist Julie Hendricks. And good morning. Starting off the day a lot cooler this morning as we begin with those clearer skies, showers and thunderstorms down along those Gulf Coast states. Out along the East Coast, things kind of slowing down a little bit with Hurricane Lee well out into the Atlantic. This hurricane only impacting the U.S. coastline with some breezy conditions, maybe some waves, and then again slowing things down in the progression offshore. Closer to home this morning, Morning. Our skies have generally cleared out there. We are seeing a few areas of precipitation showing up off to the north of this area. And as I said yesterday, there is a possibility of a few clouds producing a few sprinkles in some areas north and east. But most of us will head through the day dry with plenty of sunshine on the way. Winds are light this morning, generally calm. And this afternoon, it'll be a light wind that adds to that mild feel through the course of the day. So as you head out the door this morning. What do you need? Maybe a light jacket, maybe a light sweater. It's cool enough this morning that you'd be happy to have it, I think. And temperatures this afternoon, you won't need it. We'll be into the 70s for daytime highs, and once again, there'll be plenty of sun after maybe some patchy fog early on. So as I mentioned yesterday, we could see a few spotty sprinkles off to the northern sections of the state of Indiana and Illinois. This is a little weak disturbance. I'm not impressed with it, so nothing to worry about today for the most part. As we go throughout the day tomorrow, plenty of sunshine as well. As we start the weekend dry, it's Sunday morning, late Saturday night into early Sunday morning that we also may have a disturbance that brings some clouds and maybe an isolated shower. Nothing big like yesterday. It was hardly anything. That's exactly what this would be. Not a lot of moisture to work with, but just a little weak disturbance that we have to mention. After that, the story becomes warmer temperatures that start to build back in toward the middle of next week. We're going to give you a 10 day outlook now with temperatures and today we find ourselves with that cool fall like feel. We'll keep that around through the end of the week warm slightly, but then this is by Sunday. Remember I said there's just a little weak disturbance through the Great Lakes, and that may hold some clouds across our area. We get into early next week, though, and we start to see warmer temperatures expanding by the end of next week. So this is Friday, September 22nd. We may be looking at a disturbance that might bring some rain chances more widespread by then. Not today. Today we got plenty of sunshine on the way. Temperatures in the upper 70s, a nice feel out there this afternoon after a cool start. Clear skies again tonight will lead to another chilly feel as we begin our day tomorrow. You might need that light sweater again. Grab those sunglasses for the rest of the week. There's plenty of sunshine ahead. And as we start the weekend with temperatures Saturday close to 80, few clouds come in Saturday night, maybe an isolated shower early Sunday brings temperatures down a few degrees. But as you see by Tuesday, we're back to 81. So here's the scoop. We're not done with that little feel <laughs> of summer just yet, so. That's okay. Yeah, it's not bad. I think that's a nice, peaceful, tranquil, especially after the summer we had with all the storms and everything. It's nice to kind of end the summer on a calm note. Yeah, I'd agree. Yeah. All right. Well, any bear